Uh, all right, let's talk about course delivery. So these are a couple simple examples of taking PLR courses and just adding a personal touch without making a ton of modifications. I'm looking forward, uh, hopefully I don't take too much time here because I want to sh shift over to Charles showing it. I'm looking forward to Charles showing an actual example, which will help you drive the idea home. Uh, so I just, this was a, a graphic I made to just sort of give you an idea. Imagine I took the Focus Mind, which was one of our recent releases, and changed it to Focus for the Online Business Professional by Justin Popovich. If I were, if I were to maybe teach some of my online business best practices as a business coach. So I'm no longer wearing the PLR seller hat. I'm now this business coach guy. And I want to teach you how I focus and, and maintain a high level of focus to run my business. That's all I'm doing with this example. Well, if I wanted to take a, uh, a course directly out of the Tools Motivation catalog, and it's just raw PLR format, and not really modify it all that much, just add some personal touch, what could I do quickly to make that happen? I wanna show you a few examples. So again, if we go beginner, intermediate, advanced in our thinking, the most ba basic thing you can do is add a URL or a logo or a photo right into that course. Excuse me, there could be several formats that you're delivering the course. Uh, we have our course package where it's it's kind of broken up into intro, several modules, and then a conclusion. We have the full ebook where we take the whole course and put it into one giant document, and you can sell that as sort of a downloadable PDF course. Uh, and then you can obviously get creative and package it up in a different way if you like. Uh, that's and then just customizing your personal likeness into that. So you know, you put your picture in there or put your URL at the bottom of every page uh, and then let it rip. They like just kind of sell the PLR out of box, but you've just put your stuff in there. Or use some of the storytelling methods I talked about earlier. In module one, we're gonna talk about how, uh, you know, it's important uh, to learn about focus before you, uh, you know, before you start your next big project. And I might wanna talk about a story in my life where that happened, right? So I use one of the storytelling methods I, ta I talked about earlier and I extend the content that way. Or um, you use personal examples in the exercises in your course. I actually have an example I'm going to show you here, where uh, when you go to share the course with your students, you're actually being a little bit more vulnerable. So as the expert, yes, you're teaching a course, but you're going to show your students that you're, that you're an expert in this because you've done the work. You actually live what you're teaching. You're doing what you're practicing, what you preach, right? So by showing how you lived this course or the the ideas being shared in this course it gives your students permission and kind of leadership to kind of follow in your shoes and then uh, you can also add a personal intro and outro to some of the videos so let me show you two examples of that uh, before i show you my two main examples here which is uh customizing the courses if you were to just like if you just wanted to get one of our courses out with minimal or basically zero change but you wanted to at least brand it to you you could take like, so for example, this is the focus course, the focus mind, and you could just add a, a header with your personal brand. So I'd like, I don't even have a justinpopovich.com right now. It go it redirects to my Facebook page, I think. Uh, but I've got a little photo in there. I would do a better job. I just did this in five seconds before I started, but I can have a little header and footer on each page where it's got like my business branding here. And with a, you know, an eight second header and footer edit, now this course, I can save it as a PDF, but every page of my PDF is now branded to the Justin Popovich brand. Super, super simple. Not a lot of work to be done here, but it does show with just a little bit of shifting of that material, you can now embed your name, your personal brand, right inside of the content. I'd like to take, to take it a little bit further with our example today. But again, if you're using our products right out of box and you don't really want to spend the time to change it, that would be a very basic change you could make. Um, the next one I talked about was storytelling, where you're actually going in here and like here they're talking about myths and misconceptions about focus. And here's myth number one, which is if you start now, the focus will come and it kind of breaks that myth down. Maybe you add your story right here, you know, personal story time, right? And you just tell it in text format. Or maybe you link out to a YouTube video you've already created where you talk about that concept. You could just link that into your book and that's personalized now to you without you having to write a whole bunch more content. But what I really wanted to point out here was if you are using our courses and uh, and you want to make it super engaging with the, with the uh, reader or the student, 
imagine you did something like this, where at the end of every module, the student kind of has learned what they need to learn about, in this case, focus, and you're giving them an exercise. So the exercise says, hey, when was the last time you enjoyed excellent concentration? They have to answer that question. And then they, they kind of have to reverse engineer, like what helped you maintain that level of focus? So they get this blank page. They just finished going through your module. Maybe they watched some of your videos and now they got to sit down and actually do the work. You could say as the instructor, to get you started, I've also done this course and I've included my answers to this exercise. It might help you along. It might give you some uh, ideas to get you started, right? And then you just literally fill in the PLR content with your own personalized example. So I actually wrote some stuff here. When I include the slides, you can read it. You'll be able to download the slides below the recording of this. I quite literally did this exercise as though I was the instructor for the focused mind. And I answered the question to the best of my ability, not in full, but I kind of got started. You'll be able to read it there. And if I were delivering this course, um, I might have the video for the uh, for module one, and then the exercise for the student below that where they download it. And then below that, I could say, to see my answers to module one, when I did this as a student, click here and they could download that. Very personal connection. It's allowing uh, my students to see that I've done the work. It gives them some talking points. And if I am doing live training like I'm doing with you folks right now, uh, and I'm going to be asking you to re you know repeat stuff, it gives me that much more of a, of a bond with my audience. So I really like this because you're quite simply using the PLR as a student to create some content that you then share out with your audience. So doing the exercises in the PLR, what a great idea. The other one would be something like this. Uh, let's go over here. This was the Freedom Formula, which was one of our earlier releases. I got to move my Zoom controls. But for those of you that have seen this, uh, in our uh, bi-weekly PLR self-help courses, we include the slides and the notes so that if you want to be the instructor and record this in your own voice, you can do that. Every slide has the notes so that you don't have to know how to teach this off the top of your head. You can just read it and then the slide will be the visual. Uh, or if you click down here and click play, I go back to the beginning. The freedom formula. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. More personal. Anyway, there's audio playing that we have created for you as part of the PLR package. The audio then mix with the slides and allows me to export as a video. So the video content for the course is done, but it's in its generic format, right? You as the PLR buyer have the exact same video here as all the other PLR buyers. So how can you quickly personalize this to make it unique without having to change the actual content? So one thing you can do is in Canva, you can create a, a new video design. So let's say, for example, here, you create a, a blank video. And what I've done in advance is I have taken that PLR video, I've exported it from Canva, saved it as an MP4, and I've also recorded my own intro to this. So I had this little design here, I'll show it to you right here. I just created like a single slide. Uh, in this case, it's a different course called Change is a New Constant. I, I was showing you um, a different one. What was it? Uh, Freedom Formula, just whatever. Let's just pretend that we're inter interchanging them here. And I have a slide here where I'm just going to record a personal intro. And it's me with my face on screen and a picture of the course that I'm talking about. And I'm just saying something to the effect of, hey, this is Justin Popovich. Uh, welcome to my latest course called whatever. Uh, and in just a moment, we're going to start module one. The whole idea of this course is blah, 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 blah. Let's get started. So I'm not teaching anything, but I'm personally branding it by introducing the video content to you. I don't, it doesn't take me all that long. It's a single image in Canva. I have to click present and record, which is right here. I use it, the present and record tools built right into Canva. It creates a video. If I go over here to my uploads and videos, I've got, I've got both. So I've, I've created a personal intro. I did it before this uh, session here today and I've got the PLR video. So if I, I now go into this new uh, Canva video that I'm creating, I can just blend the two. So I take my uploads, I grab my intro. Oops, grab my intro and put that into the project. Delete that one. And then I grab the PLR content and I grab that, I put that into the project as well. Introduction. Pause that. And uh, so it goes like so. We have this one. Hey, this is Justin Popovich and welcome to a personal... 
So I have a personal introduction, and then the PLR content starts here. And then the cool little tool here, if you click in the middle, you can do a little transition. So it kind of like, you know, circles in or does like a stack or a, a kind of a chop like that. Let's do a line wipe here. So it goes from my personalized intro right here into the PLR content where I'm not doing any changes at all. It's literally out of box. Then I save the combo of my personal intro with the PLR as an MP4 by clicking download here. And yeah, you save it as an MP4 video. I can now publish that. I've done zero change to the PLR content. I've just added that little personal flair at the beginning and we're up and running. So that's a cool little hack you can do with Canva to kind of blend your own personal uh, you know, uh, brand. You speaking on camera, which I highly recommend if you are selling stuff under your own name. And then you just let the PLR do the heavy lifting. If you want to take it a step further, maybe you add an outro as well, right? So they they watch the content, they learn some stuff. And then and you come back on at the end. You go, hey, thanks for so much for watching module one. Uh, as you know, as we talked about, there's some exercises that we'd like you to perform now. Please go and do those. And hey, below the exercises, you'll find a download link to my personal answers. I've also done this exercise, you'll see, uh, you know, how, uh, as the instructor, how I've done it, that might give you some hints uh, and help you get started in your journey. And let me know if you have any questions kind of thing, right? And then you got a cool little outro as well. And you don't have to really do any real content creation. You just have sort of intro and outro the topic and the PLR does the rest, which I really love. So uh, to me, that's a great and very powerful way of using that content. Just gonna take